you're going to go second wind and you're going to go unflinching in the resolve tree. You're in the right tree. So second wind and then bottom right is unflinching. So it's a okay. very tough. Yeah, it's a very tough matchup. It's one of the harder ones you could have gotten. Obviously for okay. York with that Comet strat, it's fucking easy, right? Cannon versus Trinomir is tough because you have to pull the lane back to us and then all in him. But mm -hmm. he pokes at lane. you the whole time. Yeah, he pokes at you the whole time. But kind of like a Teemo. It's a worse Teemo. Just last hit. Because you do want him to come to you. And if you're if you're cheeky, you could even have him auto you sometimes if you want to move the wave forward faster. See? But try not to take too much damage because we need high health. Very high health to ever all in him. But because you have Dorn Shield and Second Wind, you should be able to keep your health fairly high. And don't be afraid to give up minions. It's okay. See those autos? Okay. You're opting into those autos. Don't take free autos. You can rage. Yeah, that's fine. It's completely cool to give up farm here in the beginning. It's fine. So he pushed way too fast, in my opinion. So now you just grab your farm. You can use your E. You can like short E it. Now spam your Q. Nine. It's okay, just let the wave go under. We took way too much damage already, but you're gonna you'll learn. You'll learn. Right. Spam your Q. That's generous. Now just chill and grab your farm. Now you can auto as much as you want because you're just building fury, right? Yeah, just auto E like on top of it. Like really, like you're playing an arcade game. Spam your Q here. Get your Q. And I would back up, use my pot. Try to avoid any damage here. Yeah, just sit back, sit back. Level up your Q. Yeah, level up your Q. Use your Q, yeah. Now, the wave's at your back. Once you get level four, if you land W, you could legit like save all your abilities here. Start autoing the wave. And if he walks up to the wave at all and you land W, go. Like, spin onto him and trade. W. Okay, back up. Now, if you, uh, you, you have a window here. If you can get your W back, you could go again. Okay, walk up. Start building your fury. Try to land W and go again. You get these windows and that's it. Okay. Uh, you could ghost and kill him there. Uh, never mind. Too late. Too late. You Once you land on him, you want to like like ghost and actually commit to the autos usually. Spam your Q from here and just heal up. This is what I mean. It's a lot harder than York. <laughs> yep, just keep spamming it. It's fine. This is why you go D shield and second wind. This is also why in high elo, uh, cannons picked into a lot of mana list tops. A ward for lane gang. I don't think you're ever getting lane ganked here. Plus Trundle's bottom, right? Kale. Or I mean Kale. Kale jungle. Yeah. Spam. Yeah, just keep spamming Q off CD. As soon as it's off CD. So your health is basically a resource here, right? He has no sustain. Well, he does have a pot. An enemy has been slain. Now the wave's about to come under your tower. An ally has been slain. Yeah. Spam your, spam your Q when you have fury built up. Yep. Oh, that's, fine. that's fine. That's fine. And now you can W and go. Uh, he has ult though. So it's going to be a little scary. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, you kill him. Q? <laughs> okay. You played it goofy, but... Yeah, he's just bad. <laughs> but, obviously, we have a lot of work to do with managing our damage taken and the all-in itself, but the premise, you could kind of see what we're looking for, right? Yes, sir. Right, let's push hard. 
No need to ward. No one kills you. You have all remember. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm transferring. Keep pushing, keep autoing. Auto auto E. Like you gotta get this under. I press B. Just press B, you're good. No one can see you, right? You're off of vision. <clears throat> yeah, you would definitely want Berserker Griefs first in this lane. Now grab a long sword and grab that pink will work or a pot. Either's cool. Depends on what you're comfortable with. I personally, if, if since you're struggling dealing with the damage, you probably should take a pot. As you get better with managing it, it's 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 really hard when you're new. It's really hard because everything's just wonky. Oops. What the hell happened to our screen? Just tapped out. Oh, okay. Screen. You're good. I see it. So, same thing, just let him push to you. Just last hit. You can, like, take that minion and jump into the brush. Yep. I would just jump in the brush and, and back up to the next brush. Yep, and just chill. So, you're basically just slowly letting him, like, bring the wave in. And keep your health as high as you can. It's very important. That's the mark of a good top laner. Is do they just take free damage out the ass, like free autos? Or is every auto for the guy... I would never fight him in this. Yeah, that's... That was silly. Huge wave, I'm never doing that. You should have just taken the minion and walked away, just like you'd been doing. Okay. I'm quizzing you on how high your health is by the time the wave bounces. And you were doing good until that moment. <laughs> right? Like, that trade was the fucked up trade. Yeah, use your pot. Now you Q. Yeah, use your Q. Now you can build up Fury, and guess what? Here in a second, if you don't take free damage, oh, well, if you keep being impatient, sit back. Sit back. Why is he letting all of you just fucking sit there, guy? Sit there. Why are you clicking around like a psycho? Sit there. Relax. What are you doing? Just relax. You can't get it without taking damage. Relax. Now you can go up and you can land a W and try to trade. Go. He's going to run away, right? Now push. Push, 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 push. Don't, don't back down. Push. Push, push, push. You're going to spin on him again. Yeah. Look at that. Push, 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 push. Now... Guess what you can do? If you want to dive him like a man, you can. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Use your Q right now. Use your Q. And keep pushing. Yes. Keep pushing. Don't pussy out now. Because we're going. Now shove the wave. And we're going to ghost and go. Okay? Go. Fuck it. Go. Oh. Get him. Now run out. It's almost like I do this for a living, you know? Crazy, ain't it? Crazy, ain't it? It's like magic, isn't it? <laughs> like a magic trick. Now oh, you're gonna man. grab uh you're gonna grab your noon quiver and then get a pink. See, look how smooth that was when you just chilled the fuck out and just yeah, let just reel get in the fish. My, get out of my own way. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Now, if you you know now that you've seen it work, you see that you have to have your health high, and then you have to play the rebound of the wave instead of what you're doing, which is you keep trying to fight him while he's pushing. Just let it go under. Just let it let it go under, and then you play it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, jungles here. I'm gonna pink. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you can't really defend it because you want him to push into you again. Right. You don't want to push anymore. Yep. So that pink, frozen, you would no. you would do. I mean, it's not a terrible pink, but I just I don't even worry so much about wards and Lolilo. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. <laughs> you just ABC. Like you just play the waves. So you just let him do his thing because he's got the wave. Yep. And you just choose. Like you say to yourself, can I auto an E backwards for the minion, right? Like that's literally the whole game plan. You just auto an E backwards. You don't have to do anything other than that. So like that minion, I probably wouldn't go for it because it'll hurt. But that one looks good. Yeah, you just chill. You're just chilling. See, it'll, he'll get bored. He'll push faster. He'll give you the wave. You're chilling. He's gonna push the wave under. Once the wave goes under, you farm as safely as you can. You could auto knee that one. 
Nope. That's fine. Now Q, Q, because you have it. Exactly. You're just chilling. If you'd move forward and back, you wouldn't take so much damage. You're moving side to side. That's the problem. Okay. Now just chill. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. You need your spin before you can really go, though. Yeah. And that W is a little wasteful because now you got to wait for a new one. Right? Wait for your W. Don't don't spin on him. And now W. Walk up and W. He just wasted his move. Yeah, he just wasted his move speed. Walk up and W. That's fine. Stay on him. He has no he has no run yet. Good. There you go. Auto and then spin on him again. Don't let go. Don't let go. See? You've got to... Once the wave rebounds, you've got to really, like, be okay with trading. You understand? Because that's when you're going to win. Now let's hit tower a bit. We probably take two plates. We have ult, so we're not afraid at all. And spin away and get in the bush. There you go. So I know what you're thinking. Nice, I could have taken another plate. Yes, but the problem with that is it's kind of fucky tempo. You'd rather just uh, grab your items. Yep, grab what you can. Uh, uh grab the there. if you have to choose, grab the pickaxe, yes. There shall be a slaughter. Good. Guess what? You're gonna receive the wave and do it again. Rinse and repeat. Yep. And this time I got everything. <laughs> Yeah, so now, now he's... And all you're doing is every time you pull this off, you get a little bit better at it. That's why I really harp on fundamentals. Because if you do this exactly how I tell you, at, you'll start naturally like executing on it better and better and better. So here, same thing. You just let him push. Now you can start to take a little bit more farm because you know you're going to kill him on the all-in. So just, you know, don't push though. You want to just last hit. Remember, if you shove, you... You spend more time. Yeah, you spend more time on defense. And just sit back. Remember forward and back movements because you don't want to take free poke. <clears throat> I would ghost. Uh, next spin, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Spin through him. Yep, stay on him. You're never leaving. <laughs> stay on him. W. You do have it. You do win. Spam your Q. <clears throat> I push. I push. Kale's dead. Now press B. Let's press B. Grab your uh, crit cloak. Alright, let's go. It was a little messy because you're staggering your cooldowns over yeah. and over. Okay. You want them all to be in sync. Roger. Like, you, we need your W, land the W, then go. Like, really try to layer them together. Now I just okay. wait for my ult. I would just pull the wave in and wait for my ult. There shall be a slaughter. Do we tilt another cannon or something? Probably. Push. Yeah, just uh, just last hit. Just last hit. I would have, like, those minions were low. I would have just, like, spun on them right as they were about to die. Okay. Oh, that explains it. Yeah. Free dragon. Okay. Remember, forward and back movements, you have lazy movement. Lazy movement. Check. Very lazy movement. Yes. Remember, auto and spin away. This kind of falls under lazy movement. Because yeah. you're the guy's thinking about ganking you, and you're just standing out there. Mm -hmm. And you have no ult. When you don't have ult, you're a ranged minion. Wait for I'm the sorry. last second. Like, let the minions meet and wait for the last second, then take it. Like, really nitpick. There you go. That's not nitpicking. I'm noticing a trend with you is I tell you to do something and you do it as lazily as you possibly could come up with. Uh, like just like last hit at the last second. Like look at the health. Like right now you're autoing for no reason. Why? Pull the wave back. Uh, no. no, just wait. Last second. There you go. Like really pay attention to it. Now guess what? 
We're just gonna slow push from here and die this fucking guy. Last second. Last second. That is not last second. Aim your shit. Aim my shit. Yes. Yeah. Like, pay attention to the minions. Look at the health bar. Like, think about it. Like, you're not on autopilot. That was a good Gosh. attempt. Yeah, that's fine. I, I see what you're trying to do. I can tell the difference between you trying to do it and you fucking around and not paying attention. See what I mean? Now that's better because that's going to actually build a real wave now. There you go. See, that's discipline. And you're watching the, the way is you watch the animations of the, the minions it normally helps too. If you get in a situation where you need to auto like twice, but you can't, you just spin in place is my spin. move. Yeah, you yeah. spin like in place. Now I would hard shove and go for the dive. So hard shove. Don't use your E though. Just hard shove. Okay. And then you're going to, we're going to try dive them because that's how we learn, right? So tr yep. start by landing your W, Land then ghost. We go. Ghost and fuck him up. Who cares? Spin away. Spin away. Yep. Perfect. Two people there means just leave. No problem. Oh, wow. Okay. Jesus. Spin away. Spin away. Don't hold it. We're not saving it. Now press B. Wow, four top. They like me. Uh, so you go Gale, Gale Force, Force or... yeah, Gale Force, and then I would I would go for uh, Phantom Dancer personally. I would go oh, Phantom right. Dancer, yeah. Now let's get back out there. Grab the attack speed. I've been playing Trindamir, uh versus like Smurfs and shit. Phantom Dancer feels really good second to me. Feels a lot better on all ends. So you survived the the counter of your dive, and we got an ace, so. And we kept our bounty. Very important. Because we almost gave a bounty to Jinx, and she's doing pretty well, so that would have sucked. If she hit that rocket, that would have been bad news. Bad news bears for us. Yeah. Good thing I'm like Neo in Matrix, right? Right? This is how it looked. <laughs> The fucking slight. I, honestly, sometimes it would give her that kill because hitboxes in this game are fucking random. All right, uh, I'd press B and go bot. There's no real need to be up this high without ult. You can push the wave, I guess, as long as you save your E and run away. You also have your um, your Gale Force to get you out. Yeah. I would just, I would literally just leave and go to bottom. Like B and bottom. Yeah, yeah. I would just back. I'll just go to bottom. Get zeal, get a long sword, work bot. This is a different scenario. See, we're not the ones stomping. Well, we we are stomping, but we didn't just destroy towers at like Mach 10, right? Our team did that this time. So we're just kind of slotting into what's available. I would take red here or give it to Zaya. He looks like she's going for it, so I'd give it to her. I would give it to her. Assist ping it and, and then assist ping her. Let her know she should have it. Put the assist ping on her head too. And then ping it again. You you got a you got a commander. Yeah, there you go. I would uh, be careful. I I can't see the map, but you can push it. Just be prepared to spin away. Don't spin through the wave. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I would avoid. Yeah. Um, just back up, back up. Get ready for drag. Don't don't walk up here. Look at the look at the map. Like you can't walk up like that. Yeah, there's nobody. You just take the free drag and then. You can fight. He landed W. There you go. Ah, uh, don't go too deep. Assist ping Baron, shove mid, and assist ping Baron. Make them come to you. Let's push mid. Push mid first while watching the team fight. It's a Tarik ult. I wouldn't go there yet. Now you can go. Now you can go. You got Gale Force, don't forget. You, if Jinx shows up, I would ghost and go get her. If she shows up. Yeah, 
Now, here, I would just clear the wave and leave. Clear the wave. We're not afraid. Now, spin away. Goodbye. <clears throat> what the fuck? It's done by her. Let's uh, take our reset. They're just overplaying now. It's just silly. Mm, so you would go Phantom Dancer, and then you would go for your I. Yep, get a crit cloak and go bottom. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Oh yeah, go to Baron. Go to Baron. Ping on the way. I love this. I love that they're pinging it. Yeah, let's go. Very surprising low elo early Baron. Keep spinning on the Baron, like on top of it. You can spin literally in place. It can be much cleaner. There you go. Oh my god, that sucks ass. I haven't seen that happen in a minute. Press B. That sucks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. Just... they don't have vision either. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, that was blind? Pretty sure. We can go back and look before I go to the next client. Well, this game just got harder. Damn. I am your worst nightmare. Jesus. Well, she, you know what? She just got a pick, so uh, let's go bottom. Push hard. The only thing that I could say is you could technically block it. Technically. the But, but I wasn't... I mean, <laughs> I didn't communicate it, but you can. If you're, like, way, like, way, way ahead of the situation, you could have figured out that she has the global... And then you could go over the pit between uh, the base and them. Does that make sense? Like, as it gets low, you spin over the back wall and just stand there. It's funny thing about League is you could counterplay just about anything. Alright, your team's owning, so... Can we flank, maybe, and kill the Jinx? What's going on over there? Move your camera. You gotta get your... Ca You're not getting info, so... I would just push Ghost and go fucking her up. Yeah, just go kill the bitch. Go kill Yone, maybe. Yeah, Ghost and dive him. I mean, yeah, the W. And then there you go. You just... Easy. Now uh, we just push mid and end. You should be able to end fast enough. It's just a Tarek. You should be good. I'd go for the end. Yeah, I'd go for the end. Sweet. Hit the base. And you have ult if you need it. Look at these smooth games. Easy. Oh, I know that wasn't easy. <laughs> I <laughs> wow. know that matchup wasn't easy. I'll listen and I've been, I've been playing the you game know, for a long a time, me. brother. That's that's uh <laughs> that's not an it's easy matchup. Cake. Now, sure. what did you learn though before I go? Uh, well, going all uh, like I'm wrote down most York notes is you know, go melee if or it with melee ch, uh, opponent, get grasp, grasp if uh, they're ranged, go comet, try that strat, sit on your wave, um, no lazy movement. It's a trend game, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You keep moving, you keep moving side to side and and just asking yeah. to get autoed and get. It, basically, it comes down. What your problem is right now is you don't pay attention to little details yet, right? You think they don't matter enough yet. Yeah. And you need to you need to True. trust me when I say like these little things, like standing on the wave in advance, moving you know moving forward and back, last hitting. I'm saying just last hitting, right? I'm not saying just when you feel like thinking you should. I'm saying pay attention to when mm. the minion gets really low. Right, every little detail adds yep. up. So, for example, when you go to auto or to all in the cannon. If you wait, have your full rotation of spells up, calmly walk up, land, you know, play it step by step with everything up, it will almost always yeah, go smoothly. No, stack, no stacking abilities. Of right. The other thing is you pulled the wave in and I'm like, hey, don't take any damage. You heard that, but then you I decided took to took a, take a bunch of free autos. <laughs> You'll still get the kill yeah. because Trinomir is still good. It's still scary, right? But the difference yeah. in, you know, the low elo to high elo is like if I face a high elo cannon, my all in has to be like frame perfect to beat that guy. Yeah. Because if gotcha. it's not, like if I took pre damage at any point where I wasn't supposed to, 
that's how the game's balanced. You understand? So like yes, sir. those little frames of like, oh, I just took an auto of three, four, five. Like low elo, you took like a shit ton of free autos, which is what I'd expect, right? Yeah. We want to trim that down so that every time you face those range matchups, you almost always kill them because you know the you know what you're trying to do, right? And you're right. really focusing yeah. on it. Because the game doesn't reward you, right? It's like it's not like it's not like Kennen pushes the wave under it and you give up like 10 minions and the announcer comes on and is like, kept your health up. Good job. Right? Like it, nothing yeah. happens. Right? It's right. just, you don't see that you're like dominating that situation, but you have to understand that that's what's happening is like, if you didn't take any damage and you got your mm -hmm. farm, now you're able to all in him. Now he is supposed to kite perfectly. He can't do that because yeah. he's in low elo and he's used to, because he's in low elo, he's used to his opponent having like 5% HP by now. Because they took it all for free. Right. Yeah.